In today's lesson, we shall look at uh, Dalton's law of partial pressures, which states that the total pressure of a mix of gases in a container is equal to the sum of the individual partial pressures of the component uh, gases. Then partial pressure, Since I ideal, since more gas molecules of an ideal gas uh, behave independently, so we can calculate the partial pressure of each gas in a in a container. So this statement, uh, Dalton's law, states that the total pressure is equal to P1, P2 plus P3, and uh, and so on. So where P1, P2 are the partial pressures, partial pressures of gases, of gases one, two, and three, and so on. So these are the partial pressures. Then from ideal gas law, we know that the PV. PV is equal to NRT from ideal gas law. PV is equal to NR, NRT. And Dalton's law states that P total is equal to P1, P2 plus P3. Since these gas molecules behave independently in an ideal situation, um, now we can uh, make the subject of the formula so we know that P is equal to any RT over V. In this case, we can say P1 is equal to N1 RT over V, then P2 is equal to N2 RT over V, then P3 is equal to N3 RT over V. So you can see clearly here that uh, RT over V is constant. RT over V, RT over V. What is simply changing is the number of, of moles. So now we can rearrange the equation. So PT, P total, will equal to P1, which is N1 RT over V plus P2, which is N2 RT over V, plus, plus P3, which is N3 RT over V. Then you can see here that RT over V is constant, so you can factor it out. So this is just the same as N1 plus N2 plus N3 plus N3 then times RT over, over V. So now here, so it simply shows that you can simply add, you can simply find the sum of the number of moles. Then you multiply it by RT over V, then you get the total pressure. That is the law. So this one simply means NT, N total, times RT over, over V. So this is also another way you can simply use um, the, the number of moles. The sum of the number of moles times RT over V, it will give you the, the total pressure of the mix of gases in a container. So we can look at uh, an example. We see how we can calculate example. Uh, a, so we can say a hundred liter container. A hundred liter container contains 
contains uh, 6.3 moles. 6.3 mole moles of hydrogen gas. Of hydrogen gas and uh, and uh, 2.7 moles of oxygen gas. Calculate, calculate the partial pressures, calculate the partial pressures of each gas and the total pressure. Okay, so here we have in a 100 liter container we have two gases that is uh, hydrogen gas and uh, oxygen gas so in this case we need uh, to calculate the partial pressures of each gas so which is coming from the ideal gas law pv is equal to n rt so we shall simply say uh, partial pressure for hydrogen gas partial pressure of hydrogen gas will equal to the number of moles of hydrogen gas RT over over V, where R is the universal gas constant. So in this case, uh, let's say suppose this uh, experiment was occurring at uh, 25 degrees Celsius. So in this case, our temperature is 25 degrees Celsius. So we know T, we know R, and we know V. So we shall simply substitute. The number of moles of hydrogen is 6.3. So you indicate there 6.3 times the R, 0 0.08206 liter atmosphere per Kelvin mole. Then times the T, which is the 298 Kelvin. Then over the volume of the container is 100. 100 liters. So make sure you need to see to it that the units are cancelling, the liter cancels, then uh, the number of moles cancels, K, K cancels, K cancels. Okay. So here we've cancelled. So we have remained with the number uh, with ATM there, which are the units for pressure. So 6.3. 6.3 times 0 0.08206 times 298, 298 over 100. This is giving us 1.54, 1.54 atmospheres. So this is the 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 partial pressure of uh, hydrogen gas. Then now we need to calculate the partial pressure of oxygen. So we do the same partial pressure of oxygen. Number of moles of oxygen, which is uh, six, uh, which is 2.7. So we have 2.7 more times uh, 0 0.08206 liter atmosphere more Kelvin times 298K then over 100, over 100K. So you can see this part is constant. What is changing is simply the number of moles. So we have 2.7 times 0 0.08206 times 298, 298, then over 100, over 100, which is giving us 0 0.66 uh, atmospheres. So this is the, the partial pressure of oxygen. Then from Dalton's law, it says that the total pressure is equal to, so it's equal to the sum of the individual gas molecules in the container. So it will, the, the, it will be the partial pressure of hydrogen gas plus the partial pressure of oxygen gas. So you simply add the two. So partial pressure of hydrogen, we have 5.1.54. ATM plus 0 0.66 ATM. So we add 1.54 plus 
plus uh, 1.54 plus uh, 0.66. So it is giving us uh, 2.2 atmospheres. So this is the partial pressure of the of the mixture of gases in this uh, container. Okay, so now there is also, we derived that method, uh, let's now compare, we, we calculate it uh, in this way, since we, we derived uh, this one, we said total pressure is equal to total number of moles, then R T over, over V. So this is the equation that was derived. So in this case, we shall simply add the number of moles, the number of moles of the individual gases. So we shall have 3.3 more plus 2.7 more. Then we multiply it with RT, RT 0.08206 liter atmospheres per Kelvin more, then times the, times the temperature, 298, 298 over V, which is 100, 100 liters. So let's add uh, 6.3 plus 2.7, this is giving us uh, nine, nine more times uh, that uh, 0 0.08206 times uh, 298 over 100. This is giving us uh, 0 0.24. Then we multiply it with, uh, so 0 0.24. Five. Of course, the, the, the units have cancelled, uh, so in this case, the moles have cancelled. We, we cancelled the, the, the moles, liters, Kelvin, so we shall remain with the ATM. Uh, so in this case now, when we, we multiply uh, 0 0.2445, uh, 0 0.2445, times 9, which is giving us 2.2 atmospheres. So you can see here that there is an uh, agreement, this agreement, the answer that we have found here, the total pressure, using different method, it's, uh, it's the same. So here, this simply shows that uh, the number of moles, the number of moles, when we look at uh, the ideal gas law, it shows that uh, the number of moles is directly proportional to the partial pressure. Okay, so at this point now, we can, uh, we can uh, let me just write, so it means the partial pressure, P is directly proportional to, to N. As you can see, PV is equal to any R, N R T. Then P is equal to any RT over V. So you can see that this part here, the RT over V is constant. So P is direct proportional to the number of, of moles. So at this point now, we can introduce a more fraction. More fraction, which is abbreviated by the Greek lowercase letter chi. Okay, so for a two component mixture, for a two component mixture A and B the more fraction of A will equal to will equal to the number of moles of A over number of moles of A plus C plus number of moles of, of B since uh, moles is direct proportional with the partial pressure which will be equal to the partial pressure of A over partial pressure of A plus partial pressure of, of B. There's that direct relationship, uh, 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 I mean, situation.
Okay, so now we can look at uh, uh, an example. We see how we can uh, calculate the, the, the more fraction example. And in most cases, the more fraction who, who is always uh, less than or equal to one. But in most cases, the more fraction is, is always less than one. So you cannot get a more fraction which is greater than one. Than example, a mixture of gases, gases, or we we'll just say a mixture of uh, of two gases, mix of two gases, helium, helium, helium and nitrogen, and nitrogen contains contains 0 0.56 more. 0.56 more and uh, and 1.280 uh, more respectively. Okay, then calculate the more fraction of uh, nitrogen. Calculate calculate the more fraction calculate the more fraction of nitrogen. Calculate the more fraction of nitrogen. So in this case, we shall say chi nitrogen is equal to number of moles of nitrogen over number of moles of nitrogen plus number of moles of, of oxygen gas. So in this case, number of moles of nitrogen is 1.28 1 moles over number of moles of nitrogen, 1.28 moles plus number of moles of oxygen. 0 0.56 moles. Okay, then now we shall uh, add and uh, we add the two there 1.28 1 1 plus, plus 0 0.56, uh, which is giving us uh, 1.24. 1.84 so you can see that more fraction is unitless so we have 1.28 1.28 over over 1.84 this is giving us 0 0.695 56 57 0 0.9567 as you can see, this number is less than it, 1. So, again, if we had used the partial pressures here, it is the same, since number of moles is directly proportional to the partial, to the partial pressures. Okay. So, we know that uh, uh, we can write this relationship. Let's write this relationship, which shows... Uh, so chi, the more fraction of a certain component, which is equal to uh, number of moles of A, number of moles of A, number plus number of moles of uh, or B, and B, which is equal to P A over over P A plus C plus P, PB. Okay, so there's this uh, relationship. Okay, number of moles direct proportional to, uh, to the partial pressure. So when you are given the, the, the partial pressure, you can still calculate the, the, the more fraction. For example, uh, the more fraction, the more fraction, the more fraction of nitrogen gas, nitrogen gas in the air is is zero point is zero point eight nine 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 seven. Okay, then calculate calculate the more fraction of nitrogen is that. 
Okay, so now when we are given the, the more fraction of a gas, then now we can, we can calculate now the, so in this case we can calculate the partial pressure. Calculate the partial pressure. Calculate the partial pressure. Partial pressure of nitrogen. Calculate the partial pressure of nitrogen. So let's see what we can do. So here uh, we have chi uh, nitrogen is equal to partial pressure of nitrogen over Pa plus Pv, meaning that here it is now the Pt, total pressure. So in this case, partial pressure of nitrogen will equal to the more fraction of nitrogen times the total pressure. So the more fraction of, uh, of nitrogen in air, uh, which is 0 0.8999 997 times the pressure times the, the, the total pressure. So in this case, uh, let's say the total pressure, since it was not given, so total pressure in this case, total pressure, total pressure is, uh, is 2.5 atmospheres. So in this case, the total pressure is 2.5 atmospheres. So now we multiply it by 2.5 atmospheres. So we multiply uh, 0 0.8, 0 0.9, 7 times 2.5, times 2.5, which is giving us 2.225 atmospheres. So this is how we can uh, calculate. Okay. So now we can look at uh, uh, Graham's. Let's look at uh, Graham's law. Graham's law of diffusion. Graham's law of diffusion. Of diffusion. Okay. So Graham's law of diffusion is given as the rate of gas one over rate of gas two is equal to the square root of M2 over M1. Where M2, M2 and M1 are the molar masses at the molar masses of the gases, of the gases, okay? So, uh, in effusion, effusion is uh, different from, from uh, diffusion, from diffusion. We know that diffusion simply means the mixing of the gases. Now, in effusion, uh, it's, uh, a situation whereby a gas which is uh, uh, in a vacuum, let's say here we have gas, gas A and gas B, okay? So these gases, uh, this thing is a vacuum, so the, the gases who simply try to pass through this pinhole Pin, this pinhole, which is called an, an orifice, okay, into this evacuated chamber. So the rate at which these gases, the speed, so we, here we are simply measuring the speed of the gases based on their molar masses. So you find that uh, the gas that is heavier, will, the gas that is heavier, of course, will, will, the, the rate will be lower than that which is a uh, which is uh, light. So for example, we can compare, we can compare the rate of, of, of effusion between two gases, let's say hydrogen and, and uh, oxygen. We know that hydrogen, the molar mass is one, then for oxygen is, uh, is 16. Then which one will move faster to pass through uh, 
uh, this, this orifice, the pin hole. Okay, so we can calculate. Example, calculate the, calculate the rate, the rate of effusion for, for nitrogen, for nitrogen, for nitrogen, and, and, and methane. Okay, we know that methane is CH4. So in this case, nitrogen, we have nitrogen and methane gas. Okay, so we say calculate the ratio. So let's just say calculate the ratio of diffusion. Ratio. So one to calculate the ratio of the diffusion for this nitrogen and methane. So we know nitrogen is uh, 28 grams per mole, then methane, that is 12 plus, uh, plus 4. 12 plus 4, uh, 1.008 times, uh, times 4. Then plus 12, which is for carbon. So this one is 16.32 grams per mole. Okay, so in this case our gas one is nitrogen, gas two is, uh, is uh, methane. So we use uh, our uh, uh, equation there. So the rate in this case, the rate of uh, uh, gas one, that is the rate of nitrogen over rate of, uh, of methane, which is equal to molar mass of, uh, of methane, which is gas two over molar mass of uh, nitrogen. Okay, so now we, we, we indicate the, the, the molar mass is there, then it will give us uh, the, the ratio. So in this case, we have the molar mass of methane, which is 16.032 grams per mole, over that of nitrogen, 28 grams per mole, which is the square root. Okay, so this will, will cancel. So when we divide uh, 16, 16.032, over 28, uh, which is giving us uh, that 0.5 then square root, so it is giving us 0 0.76. Okay, so this is the ratio. So it means, in this case, it means the nitrogen it travels the travels the point, point 0.76 times faster than it than methane gas. Okay, so it can be given different gases here. What you just need to know is the, the molar masses then you compare. Sometimes molar mass can be given, then you will be asked to calculate the rate. So that is all for uh, today's lesson. Thanks for watching.